We've talked about ships and how they make the world go. But what about us, the seafarers, behind cargo? We are an industry that's proud from stern to bow, captains to ratings. And we are asking for governments around the world to take responsibility because we have the right to be safe, to go home after work, to stay protected, not be forgotten about or neglected. Look closely at the job we love to do. Understand what it means to be part of a crew and what life at sea really means. So think about this, that today, while you sit in your office or spend time at home, there are one million of us on 60,000 ships. When eyes turned to our industry and saw that trade stopped, they saw the news, the 220,000 tons of steel, but what they didn't see are the people that keep it all together. The 1.7 million of us, the bolts and the screws, the talented crews, the passion, the piracy, the underlying threat, the unique skill set, the relentless shifts and hours, the loved ones of ours, but neither do we, for months on end, pause and comprehend the conditions we face, the risk and unpredictability of this immense open space. Yet we wouldn't trade it for anything. So we ask for support. As we work to connect the world, to enable your everyday, the way you live, the way you play, life on demand, a seamless flow, we are the people on board the ships that make the world go. It's our responsibility to facilitate your lives. It's the government's turn to look after ours. It's time for this sea that brings us so much to bring us all together. As we ask you to recognize the role we play, not only in world trade, but the world. There's more to our industry than the ships you see. Governments need to take action to eradicate piracy and allow us to change crew so that we can keep the world supplied and get home safely. We are key workers too. We hope for a future of care, treatment that's fair. So step up and imagine if everything we did stopped and wasn't there.